Hey, what's up guys? Rave13 here and welcome to another Gunpla review. Okay, so what I have here today is the grandfather of Gundams. Mobile Suit Gundam RX-78-2. Well, funny thing about this unit here is this specific kit. This kit was actually released back in 1995, I believe somewhere around July. So it is actually quite nice that I managed to acquire this. I actually got this through my private seller as mentioned from my previous video. Now this is actually a really good kit. I actually really enjoyed uh, building this unit here. Um, I haven't actually got the latest RX-78 yet, the version 3.0. But at the far back there, I actually get the 1.5, which I will be doing a comparison on a separate video. But uh, for now, we will focus on this unit itself. Okay, so um, this unit is actually quite unique as is because it's a 95 kit. And um, I was actually quite surprised while I was building this unit due to the fact that... Um, I was kind of expecting the worst of the worst due to the fact that um, it's a 95 kit and a lot there's some 95 kits that uh, were not up to par but this one here did not disappoint me at all um, due to the fact that there are just multiple reasons why I like this uh, specific uh, unit uh, well specific kit itself number one is this here if you guys can uh, see that, I'm just moving it forward. You guys can see that um, UNT Spacey and this here, the Pegasus, uh, this two are actually painted or molded in. I don't know how they managed to do it, but it's part of the plastic. Well, somewhat. You, I can actually feel it by just touching the surface like a paint and it's actually really really nice I like it now um, it actually does come with a couple of uh, features um, items actually um, as always but uh, before that um, well it's gonna be a um, I'm gonna talk about the history later on um, near the end of this video a quick one I'm just going to add the list there because um, there's actually some decals that have been added to this unit that is connected to um, the Poto novel. Okay, now let's get straight to it, shall we? Now for this kit here, it actually comes with your core block here, which is a, like core booster or core fighter. I kept on forgetting which is which, which is really nice. It actually transform. You can remove this. Yeah, same as the others. You can actually, it fits in the Gundam here. Now, I don't know much history about uh, the 95 kits, but it's, I can tell you, I actually like this unit, definitely. I forgot how many times I said that already. Okay, now let's go straight to the extras here, okay? Now, now aside from the... Um, core fighter here we actually got a couple of uh, hands here two pairs a close one and a um, close fist and an open uh, palm which is really nice and then you do have um, an extra V fin but this one's actually molded in which is I'm actually kind of surprised they should have just taken this out but I guess it's part of the mold Okay, and then uh, on top of that, you have your basic beam savers here. Now, since it's a 95 kit, it's expected that uh, it's actually not that pointy. And um, if you actually look closer, you'll actually see the... Or just feel where the mold uh, came in. Okay. Now... Overall design of this unit is not bad. Um, there's actually a, some panel lines here on the legs, on the armor, on the torso, and you get that UNT Spacey Deagle designs. They actually put a lot of effort in it. Now, there's one thing I got to say is uh, there's not exactly an inner frame for this one here. 
which I'm going to be showing to you guys shortly. Now, let's talk about the weapons here. You get your basic weapons. You get your beam rifle. You get your shield. You get your beam savers, two of them. And you get your hyper bazooka at the back. The only thing missing for this is uh, the trident. Or you call that a spear. And the um, hammer. Or something like this. Oh, just a second here. Yeah, I'm actually just grabbing this one here. It doesn't come with this unit here. So I'm... This is from the 1.5. Okay, there's some items missing here, but overall it's not bad. And then on top of that, you have your stickers here that I haven't actually used yet. Now this one's actually something new. Really nice paper to the touch, but very different. Then you get your silver for the air vents here. You get your basic decals, the older one, which I'm actually planning on putting once I'm done uh, detailing this. And you get your sticker here. Now, this is one thing I'm actually going to be mentioning about is the G3 here. It came with this. So, um, the G3 is actually a new generation type of Gundam, experimental type. Okay, it's actually, exper uh, you know what, I'll just talk about it near the end of this video <laughs> okay now let's do a mobility test actually mobility test or yeah no let's keep on going with the designs here the beam rifle is actually well built the arms the hyper bazooka here even the headpiece can be removed which is really nice. A little bit of a demonstration. It's a little bit hard to remove. If you do it wrong, you might break it. Okay. Yeah, there it is. Then just put it back in place. Yeah. Which is really not that bad. 1.5 doesn't have that, which I'm going to talk about later on in another video. Okay, so the shield is actually quite big for its design since it's an old kit. If you guys have built the newest version, it's actually a lot more slimmer, compact. Okay, now let's talk about some of the issues on this unit. Um, the issues are actually some of uh, the seam lines here. You can, as always, on the um, forearm and then you got some uh, nubs on the shoulder but it's actually not the real issue if you know how to sand it properly for me I kinda did a fast build you get so it kinda showed some of the seam lines and nubs you get your seam lines here at the legs kneecap uh, this area here but uh, for the armor it's actually not that bad, but there's stumps there that you'll have to sand down, even for the feet here. Okay. Now, let's uh, talk about mobility here, finally. Okay, so mobility is actually not that bad, but um, first, uh, first off, we're going to start with the beam rifle here. Okay, the beam rifle, very basic. This one actually moves, but not the opposite way. Okay, then afterwards you get your... We're going to go to the waist then. We get an attachment for the waist here for your bazooka. You can just take that out. Okay, bazooka, only movable parts is this one here. Now for the waist, there's an attachment there. Okay, hopefully you guys can see that. If you want to push that back in, there you go. There's a gimmick there. Okay, so I've already shown you guys uh, the um, top part comes off here. But uh, mobility test, this gave, uh, since we're doing a mobility test, we're going to go all out here. Now for the head, can definitely go 360 degrees. Now as you can see, the headpiece kind of wobbles, which is okay. 
since it's uh, part of the gimmick there. Then you got your pack here, your space pack. Oops. <laughs> okay, uh, we'll just get on that. You get your thrusters here moving. And then you get your beam savers moving also. Then you can actually remove this easily. Okay, now for the arm here. Now this this is actually two pieces here, so we're gonna take that up and I'm gonna show it to you. Okay, this part doesn't move, but it's actually well built and connected, so I've actually had some issues with some of the other kits, but this one here, not a whole lot. There you go. Now let's do that mobility test for the arm. Now the arm can definitely do a 360. Easy. Okay, you got that. That's how far it can go. Now for the arm. Okay, that's how far it can go. And it can bend. <laughs> Double elbow. Okay, now this one here. Oops. Shouldn't have done that. Okay. It can move. Now, this one here is I actually like. So this one can be removed. Okay, hopefully I'm doing it right. There you go. It's a little bit of a tight fit there. Then you can just pull this out. Which is not bad. You can actually do a little bit of modification if you want to. Hint, hint, nudge, nudge. And then you can just close this off easily. For the hand here. Okay. You do have your seam lines here because it's a separate hand. It got that HDG design. But uh, the hands. Now the trigger is actually mobile. The thumb is mobile, the three fingers are mobile. Good mobility there. Okay, now let's talk about the shield here. The shield, there's an issue. See, um, you can um, hold it, but... Um, okay. But that's it. It's just very basic for the shield. You got your at that your uh, handheld here. There's three parts, actually four. This one here, you can actually maneuver it the way you want, pose it the way you want, and um, if you want to put this at the back, there's actually a slot here for your uh, shield. There you go. You can actually move it the way you want to. Okay, now. For the torso here, there's actually a gimmick. Is this? <laughs> yeah, there's the cockpit block there. The cockpit. Sorry if you guys can see that. Hopefully, and the pilot is inside. Now, the waist test here. There's actually turning, but that's how far it can go. For turning yeah limited uh, waist turn which is which kind of sucks but it's understandable because of its special uh, other gimmicks okay now the next part here I'm just gonna pull this out easy as that and there you go you got your core block here you can actually keep on uh, you can actually see the pilot now kind of and you can just pull this out if you want to, which is kind of hard there, but I'm putting it back in. Okay, there you go. Okay, now the next part of the mobility test is, well, the waist, the, this waist hole, waist area here. It's a movable front skirt, back, uh, side skirts, mobile, 
there's actually a poly cap attached to it and the back well it's stuck in one piece but you guys have seen the gimmick there already for the hyper bazooka okay sorry about that now for the legs here so you guys can see the designs it's really really nice okay now I want to show you this feature here I'm gonna remove this this one is not the connector this is a peg as you guys can see that which is makes it very stable certain pegs kind of fall off there this one will not disappoint you but uh, that actually limits its uh, mobility that's the other problem you get your seam lines here again basic uh, panel lines now let's do the leg test here now moving up that's how far it can go but you can actually do certain poses yeah now for the turn the split can split it's limited back kick limited also now that's how limited it is right now okay I'm gonna show you the other gimmick here and here are the uh, here's the other gimmick the thrusters which is really nice okay and um, for the ankle armor that's how far it can go the feet there's some mobility there but that's how far it can go there yeah kind of sucks okay so there are actually there are limits to this unit here but overall the design is not bad for its time there's panel lines the color scheme is actually not that bad I really do like it um, okay just let me post this properly here now one of the key factors for this one here that I liked is the sticker here I'm just gonna do some uh, basic uh, work here panel line maybe take out the seam lines there make it look better make it look good otherwise no paint okay now I'm gonna be doing a side-by-side compa -side comparison of this unit here against this unit <laughs> yep I get two like I mentioned already I get two here but uh, it's gonna be in another video but you guys can see the similar uh, difference right away there but I'll set this aside for now okay that is actually a really good kit now the price tag for this unit it actually varies where you can find it and uh, I actually don't know where to get this unit now online yes price really varies it can be 30 Canadian dollars and up you this um you guys decide if you want to spend that much money on a classic kit for me worth it definitely worth it now the history of uh this unit here um as i mentioned i kind of veered off earlier but i returned now the g3 here if you guys um aren't aware of the history well um how do i put this uh in the Potanobel series, um, there were originally three Gundams. The other two were destroyed. They were transported and rebuilt as uh, with a gray color scheme. Now, that unit ended up uh, being piloted by Amor Ray after his uh, original Gundam got destroyed. But uh, was later on destroyed also by a Char, uh, one of Char's uh, Rickdom team. And Amaro actually died in that series. Now there's actually other um, other novels also there uh, regarding the G3 unit that I'll actually just put the link below. It's actually a manga. There's no animated series yet. 
and um, the storyline is quite unique um, skimming through it I actually do like it okay so um, yeah overall oh yeah I forgot um, little Amaro here as the extra pilot <laughs> sorry guys and um, there's actually more that I actually forgot to add well we got your a lot of polycaps here and we got this here I actually don't know where this is supposed to go I haven't actually checked uh, the other manual here I just went straight for the review after building this unit uh, these are some air vents looks like um, specific designs I can definitely use this in uh, my custom but uh, if you guys know what this is for leave it in the comment section below I will really appreciate it but by the time hopefully I can get the answer soon <laughs> okay so thank you guys for watching this video I really appreciate it if you guys got any questions or a gunpla request leave it in the comment section below and if you guys get the chance uh, watch my other video the Gundam local type from uh, my previous review and unboxing that one is highly highly advisable to be purchased okay and uh, apologies guys um, a little bit of a setup here I'm uh, just changing things up uh, a little bit yeah and I, f I think I finally figure out figure out how to do a proper lighting here I hope leave it in the comment section below if you like my lighting okay this is Reeve 13 Thank you guys for watching. Have a good day, good night, afternoon, wherever you are. Signing out. My next review will be...